May 25th, Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield. Let's begin. Well, that was Tubular Bells. Hardly needs much of an introduction. Um, I hadn't done one of these videos in ages because uh, um, I, was, I was done over by Desperado and the one by The Faces. And I thought, oh, I can't be doing this anymore. I've got stuff to do that could just be meaningful. And those albums were awful. Uh, and I couldn't do any more. But I did want to give this a listen because this is one of the albums that put me on that track of thinking that 73 is quite a vintage year. Um, and I've got it on record, so it's, it seemed appropriate to listen to it on the day that it was released 50 years ago um, and do one of these. Um, I, I first got into this, like, so obviously I've always known that, that the motif that, that, that you're playing at the beginning of part one, as everyone does, um, you know, from The Exorcist. Um, but I remember coming, I can't, can't, I don't know why, but I remember coming across it on YouTube, then playing it live from 73, when he's got his long hair. Um, and and being surprised by by the, the the setup, you know, it was no longer had the connotations of the Exorcist, and I could just see a band playing minimalist music. It was it was just so Philip Glass. I felt like this was at a time where I really liked Philip Glass, um, and, and it reminded me of that. And I, and I got into it f via that really by seeing it be performed um, by a band. And then I you know I, I looked into the the history of it, and it was like a almost a one-man show when on the actual album and then what it did for virgin and, and all this i do think it's a fascinating story uh the album itself has got like high moments of um beauty and the arrangements are like amazing um and it gets nice and rocky some great riffs in there certainly on part two um, but there are also some flat moments on there and moments where I was um, waiting for the next transition or the next, you know, piece. Um, yeah, it, it's it's not as good as memory served me. I mean, I, I think I've always preferred, oh my, is it o, Omagua? Or is that a Pink Floyd album? O, Oma Dawn? I think it's Oma Dawn. I think I've, I've preferred that album over this. Um, but it, 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 it does like interest me how uh, part two, like side B of this album, is so weird when he's doing that. He's put on that voice, and you got the, the the heavy riffs going on, and this was like one of the biggest selling albums of all time. And then, and then part two is being played in homes around the world. Um, it's it's a fa fascinating. It it is an odd artifact, isn't it? Um, didn't really do that much for the heart. That might be because I played it that many times in the past. Um, but compared to other albums I've listened to, there's, there's no great emotional pull from this. It's just a bit of a, a, a showboat, which is fine, you know. Uh, so, and it comes down to recommendations. And yeah, of course, give it a listen if you haven't already, because it's tubular bells and everyone should be uh, acquainted with it at some stage. But in regards to the um, the talents of one man behind or one woman behind an album, I felt that the Vangelis one was far more um, uh, ex exciting and impressive uh, compared to Tubular Bells. Um, but two very different things, obviously. So there we go. I don't know when I'm next going to do one of these. I, I've not been looking at the lists. There's like a, Je a live Genesis album I might be listening to soon. Um, there was a poem. I think Red Rose Speedway was this month. And I, and I skipped that because I'm not going to enjoy that. And I know that. Um, the albums that I do have on record. So I listened, I listened to this on record. And the, the vinyl is so old and wobbly. It was like hitting part of the arm and it was scratching each time I thought oh, geez I'm gonna have to listen to it on my computer so that one didn't work out but I do have the final for um, selling England by the pound and 
Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road, my two, you know, big ones from New Year's, so that'll be interesting to listen to. Since the last videos, um, these trails has really found a strong place in my heart, and that really is one of the best albums of all time in f for me. Um, huge fan of it. Um, and my phone is slowly falling off the bar that I've set it on. And apologies about my voice. Goodbye. <laughs>